Stephen was not the most honest person, but he couldn't bring himself to abandon a litter of puppies he found in an abandoned house he was burglarizing. When Stephen took the puppies to the vet to make sure they were okay, he immediately called the police. Turns out, they weren't puppies at all. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. When the cops arrived, Stephen held out his hands to be handcuffed. He thought that was it for him, being a burglar and all. But the police weren't interested in him. They were interested in his discovery, and they had a million questions about it. The puppies he had found at the abandoned house weren't dogs. But what exactly were they, and why was the police so interested? Well, to understand how the story got there, we have to go back to the beginning. It was late at night, and Stephen was roaming through this abandoned house he found. He was looking for any valuables that the previous owners had left behind. But living things weren't on his list. He had already filled his bag with some electronic devices he wasn't sure were in working order, but he wanted to keep searching. Stephen had taken too many risks to leave empty-handed. So he hoped his luck would improve when he started exploring the upstairs of the home. When he walked through the door of one of the bedrooms, he thought he heard something. It sounded like something was moving. And at first he thought it might be bugs living in the walls or something. Though bugs aren't that loud, he chose to ignore the sound. As he got further into the room though, the sound became louder. It was coming from the closet, so he decided to investigate. Steve opened the closet door to find at least 10 brown puppies on an old towel. Now he may be a thief, but he's not heartless, and he's also a true animal lover. Stephen had no idea how long the puppies had been there, but it was clear that if he didn't take them, they might not survive much longer. So he pulled the towel out of the closet, and he managed to get the puppies to his car by putting on a few coats that he found in the closet, which had plenty of pockets. He placed the puppies in the passenger seat and got out of there. As he left, Stephen wondered who the owners of the house were and how long they'd been gone. But the bigger question was, what was he going to do with 10 puppies? The next morning, Stephen decided to come up with an excuse and take the puppies to the vet, no matter how risky it might be. They had all survived the night, but who knows what kind of shape they were in. He made an appointment for the afternoon, and in the meantime, he tried to get answers. Stephen was working with someone for this burglary, and that's the person who found the house. Turns out that the owner had been arrested two days earlier, so the house hadn't been abandoned for long. Steve didn't know why the owner was arrested, just that he wouldn't be going back home anytime soon. That's why he had to be quick about hitting the house. Stephen considered telling his partner about the puppies, but he decided to keep that to himself. He was pretty sure his partner would ask him to dump the puppies somewhere so that there was nothing to connect him to the house. But he didn't want to abandon the puppies. His mind was made up. One thing kept nagging at Stephen, though. Why was the owner of that house arrested? He was looking online, but there was nothing. Stephen also wondered what might have happened to the mother of the puppies. Judging by how healthy they seemed, she must have been with them after birth. Maybe the police had taken her to the pound? But why leave the puppies behind? Nothing made sense. Eventually, it was time for the vet's appointment. Stephen thought about telling the vet that he found the puppies near a garbage dump by his house. In the waiting room, there were a couple of kids who went crazy about the puppies when they saw them. But Stephen didn't want to draw any attention to himself, so he came up with excuses so that the kids would stay away. The vet was packed that day, so it would be a while before it was his turn. Eventually, the secretary let him know that he would be the next patient after the vet was done with the current one. Stephen was a bit anxious about being there because one of the times when the vet went out to greet a patient, he noticed the puppies and he gave Stephen a raised eyebrow. Was there something else going on? Did it have to do with the puppies? Anyway, when Stephen was called to go in, the first thing he noticed was that the vet didn't look happy at all. Stephen shook his hand and started to explain how he got the puppies. He said he hoped the vet could help figure out if the puppies were healthy and also provide tips on how to take care of them. However, it seemed like the vet wasn't really listening to him. He was examining the puppies carefully and then suddenly interrupted Stephen to ask if he could leave the room for a bit. Stephen was confused by this. It didn't seem like it was a regular thing. 
He wanted to ask for explanations, but he didn't want to make a fuss, so he held himself back and he did as the doctor asked. Now before we know what happens next, please remember to give this video a thumbs up to help it reach 19k and make sure to subscribe to the channel. When he left the room, Stephen was feeling very uneasy because he didn't know what to expect. He wanted to know what the doctor was doing with the puppies. And also, did the vet have plans for him as well? Certainly seemed like he didn't like Stephen. A part of him wanted to escape right then and there. He didn't want to deal with the situation anymore. But he was aware that if he left, he would call attention to himself even more. All he could do was wait. And after about five minutes, the vet called him into the room again. When Stephen entered the doctor's office, the litter was gone, and the vet asked him to sit down. He was nervous. And when the vet revealed that he had called the police, he was completely shocked. How could the vet know that he was a burglar? And if it wasn't that, then what else was going on? Rescuing puppies wasn't illegal, was it? Stephen was freaking out inside, but he did his best to hide it. He asked why the vet had called the police, but before the doctor could answer, they heard sirens getting closer. Stephen knew that there was no way out of the situation and he'd have to face the music for what he had done. All he could do was hope that the punishment wasn't so severe. But it turns out that the police weren't interested in Stephen or him breaking into an abandoned house and taking some puppies. He shouldn't have done it, but he saved those puppies. It wouldn't be another week until the police combed through the house, so by then it would have been too late to save the puppies. However, the police did find something that would become a key asset in the case. The owner of the abandoned house at the center of this story was arrested on suspicions of being involved in an international smuggling ring. They specialize in shipping rare and endangered animals all around the world. That's why the litter was in the house to begin with. And when the guy was arrested, they were left behind because no one knew they were there. The puppies were actually wombats, and they had been illegally shipped from southeastern Australia. Those animals were the first concrete piece of evidence the police had found about the illegal trafficking of live animals. So Stephen had actually done the police a great favor by saving them. Eventually, the wombats were transferred to an animal care facility where they were raised and taken care of while the criminal was put on trial. They would later be returned to Australia. Stephen, on the other hand, became a witness. It was part of a deal to avoid a conviction for trespassing, and he would be able to prevent the illegal smuggling of animals. So when the trial ended, Stephen was happy that it was all behind him. The experience actually changed him because he decided to turn his life around and make an honest living. The thought of being merely put in prison would certainly make anyone reflect on their actions. What do you think of the story? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe for more. Until the next one.